guys and welcome back to this week's vlog today's vlog danny and i are <laughs> can't believe i'm even saying this guys and probably you guys won't either after i think it was back in july when we last done it but danny and i are going dressage today i know guys i said in the last dressage vlog i'd done which was around july time that i hate dressage that was literally my thumbnail and to be honest i'm still here thinking i cannot believe i'm actually doing it because of how badly it went last time um but yeah that is what we're going to do today um it's kind of a mix mash of basically what's been happening because today we was meant to be going as a team um but unfortunately one of the riders horses come down with colic earlier on in the week and now it's got something weird wrong with its leg so um you've got to have at least three people to make the team and obviously there'll only be two of us which means our team cannot go ahead because there is actually meant to be four of us in a team but the other person's just got an ex for a bread well not ex for a bread ex racehorse um and is not quite ready yet to go to competition she's working on the flat work and having lessons and stuff so it was then just going to be the three of us for the first um dressage competition for this month but then because one horse was obviously ill unfortunately earlier on in the week it leaves us with two which is me and this other lady to be able to do the team but because it's not three of us the team can't go ahead so it means that i've got to go individually um and i'm actually i hadn't entered i was about to enter when we found out that one of the riders horses wasn't right so they've let us well they've let me use her entry so that i don't have to enter because it's just a waste of money of paying for two when i can use someone else's so that's what's happening today i'm only going to do the one test which is intro a and we're going malacore and it's basically a winter series so there's dressage every single month you don't have to go to every month as long as there's at least three people in the team um but yeah it's just basically an every month thing through winter to get you out doing dressage and it's meant to be fun so we'll just see how today goes but it's five past seven i need to be left by quarter to eight and i need to be platted etc so i'm gonna get him platted transform dan into a little dressage pony i brought his halage out got my amazing nest stuff all of my equipment so let's get platting Like I'm crazy when I shut my feelings out. You look at me like I'm different. Still, you stay cause you feel something real. Get so lost in my moments. Doesn't mean I don't need you. I, I, I. Okay, so that is Dan's plaits all done. Then his fall up, which looks like a unicorn's horn because he kept moving around hopefully it'll flatten out but yeah i don't think they look that bad to be honest i haven't plaited since the beginning of august it's now the beginning of september so about a month but yeah he's plaited this plaiting is what takes the longest out of everything else of getting ready um but i mean we're meant to be leaving in five minutes at quarter to eight but that's not happening so i'm going to take his rug off i'm going to give him a good brush with my hash brushes that i mentioned in my fun ride vlog and then um i need to put his travel boots on put his rug on and then we're basically ready to leave i also need to do a hay net for the trailer so we're probably not going to leave until about eight but i'm going to come off filming now and try and get done as quick as possible really uh, there's something different about us After cup after cup, yeah, it's just the way we do it. Anything just about right, guys. We're all loaded, so we're gonna hit the road. We are definitely late because I've had to put his travel boots on, his rug on, I've had to brush him and everything. And I, when I finished plaiting, we needed to load up then to be left for quarter to eight. So I reckon it's about eight o'clock. So let's have a little look. I've actually got my watch on. It's 7.57, so by the time I look up and that, it will be 8 o'clock. Yes, guys, we're not very um, prepared, let's just say, for today. 
like that because I only actually ran through my test last night. Um, I done it a few times. Lauren had very kindly come up and I hired Kirsty's school, which is literally like a 10 minute ride from ours. Um, and we ran through it. Um, I'm only doing the one test. You are allowed, because it's teams, you are allowed to do two tests, but we've all decided that we're just gonna do one. And you had the choice today to do either intro A or intro C. Now, intro A is a lot easier than intro C, but I would have preferred to have done intro B, I think, but that wasn't an option for today's test. Um, so yeah, there'll just be like one or two tests that you have the option of, of um, intro and you get to choose. Um, so because it is a team thing, which we're not, we're going as an individual today, even when we are all as a team, you're allowed to ride as individual as well. So you'll basically be riding as individual, but your points that you get for individual will go onto your team. But I don't think that will happen today. You won't get the points to go onto the team. So today we'll have zero points, but next time we do it, if we're all there, then we should be able to get the points on the team. I'm not really sure how it works because I'm not the one that's kind of arranged this. Um, Lorna's arranged it all because she's one of the people that's in my team and it's her horse that unfortunately can't go today. Um, but Lorna is still coming to Malacott because she helps out at every dressage competition. Um, so we're gonna warm up, she's gonna warm me up. We're gonna run through my test. Um, even if it's not the whole test, we're just gonna run through little bits of the test and Lorna's gonna call my test out today for me, which is good because she knows the test. But yeah, it's gonna be good. And obviously because I've been practicing with Lorna and things and she's um, like called out my whole test, I kind of, I'm able to do it if that makes sense. I've got to make sure that I do my um, walk. I've got to do a little bit of a walk in my test and I've got one 10 meter circle, but it actually seems like an all right test. Now I didn't vlog me practicing it. I did film my test, so I'm gonna be, well, I'm gonna look back as soon as I finish this, check my test. I've been looking at the sheet. I got it off of Google. I do actually have the book of all the tests, but I don't know where it is. So I just got it on my phone. Um, and obviously I'm definitely gonna have a cooler because you know guys how badly I do even with a cooler. There's eight of us in the test. I don't care if I don't get placed today or if I'm last. I just basically want to go there and try not forget anything. And I just really hope that that doesn't happen. Um, yeah, I'm not really worried about the score or anything. I just want to just go around and it'd be okay because dressage is really not my thing and it's definitely not Danny's thing either. So yeah, it's just gotta be good today. And that's it, not gonna worry about my results or anything. So yeah, that's basically what's happening today. So my test is at quarter to 10. So we're gonna get there a bit before so I don't have to rush tacking up. And then obviously I can warm up. I'm not gonna be cantering because intro A is only a walk drop test. And I don't see the point of cantering when it's not obviously in the test. But also if I do canter, it's just gonna wind him up. So we're not cantering. Um, and Lorna's gonna basically run through bits of the test. So yeah, it's gonna be good. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. We are here guys, I have literally just driven past the sign, but you have all been here before. You come, I think it was November time last year, I come and done two dressage tests. Um, and then you come the beginning of 2022, New Year's Day, when I come here with Kiva to do the show jumping that ended very, very badly. Um, but yeah, it's basically, if you guys are new, it's basically a riding stables and they also do liveries and then they hold events like show jumping and dressage. They used to do hunter trials and arena eventing because they do have a cross country course, but which is very good, but they don't do that now. Okay guys, so we're the last, well, we're the first ones here, although there is a trailer just coming in now, but I'm not gonna be, like, I'm not in my test for another hour and 15 minutes. We like, I, well, I don't actually know what time, like, it starts or anything. I didn't even know the time that I was riding. It was Lorna that's basically planned it all for me and told me everything that's happening. I literally have no idea what's happening.
There's no denying what we want. There's no denying what we want. Playing games, no. There's no denying what we want. There's no denying what we want. Playing games, no. There's no denying what we want. voiceover so the bell has just gone um so i actually had a caller for this test which i think i already mentioned in the beginning of the vlog lorna called it out for me um if you guys remember the last dressage test i'd done i had a caller for both of my tests and i went wrong in both of them and that really put me off dressage but here we are again and i'm well you guys will see them in i'm not going to let you know so we're coming down the center line now I'm quite pleased with my centre line, to be honest. I think it is quite straight. I mean, it's quite hard from this angle of filming, but I would say it's quite straight. I got a six for coming down the centre line. I also needed to keep my leg on because the last time I'd done a test there, he stopped at the judge's box because he's never seen anything like that before. So I'm really pleased that he didn't try to stop. And also I went into my corners, which is something that I'm not very good at. Our next was the circle right 20 meters diameter and I got a six for this as well. Now on the day I thought I was quite good with my 20 meter circles but actually looking at it now they are appalling. They don't even look like a 20 meter circle. I don't know or understand how I find it so hard to do a circle. I always have. So then I had to do a walk transition for seven steps. Now I would say we done that quite well um, but the judge gave us a six and a half for that. Next is half circle right 10 meter diameter to X and then half circle left 10 meter to diameter B. Now, I was quite impressed with myself doing this because the day before when I was practicing it, I just could not do it. The judge didn't think the same though. I got a five for that, but it was so much better. Then I had to do another walk for a few steps and um, apparently it was rushed, but they did give me a six and a half. Um, and then Dan had his little spook. Now that was a shadow opposite the judge box. So that did throw us off, which was quite annoying. And then we had to do a circle left 20 meter diameter. And I got a six and a half for this. Now I actually feel that this 20 meter circle was a bit too big, but I feel like we've done it quite well, except for I'm, I done it a little bit too wide at the top. Then it's transition to medium walk. Now I got a seven for this, which I didn't think I'd done quite in the right place, but maybe from the judge's point of view, I must have. And then it's change the rain in a free walk on a long rain, and I got a six for this. Now we find it quite hard to stretch, but I think Dan, that's probably the best that he has stretched so i'm really happy with how he went then and then at h we had to do medium walk but yeah i would definitely say that's the best we've done it let's see if i go to my corner mm, no then at c circle right 20 meters diameter And again, he was just so chilled in this test, which is really nice. The last dressage test I'd done in July, he was so tense and like very forward and got strong in places. But I would say he went very nicely here and I'm really pleased with how he went. And it's a nice active walk as well. He isn't behind the leg with me, but it isn't too forward. And then at X, we had to do a trot around to finish the rest of the circle. And we got a five and a half, which isn't that great. And then MXK, we had to change the rain in working trot. Now he did have another little spook at that shadow. Again, it's just typical. It's right by the judge box as well. But we got a six and a half for this. So I'm very pleased with that. And we didn't cut the corner. So again, I'm very happy with that. And then 
AX was turned down the centre line. I got a six and a half for that. And then my Holt Immobility Salute, I got a six. So I'm very happy with that. And my end score was 62.6%. And I literally cannot complain. We didn't make any mistakes, which is a change. And I'm very, very happy with that test. And our Holt wasn't that square. Oh, Mitzi Moo. Okay guys, so we're now back home, a little bit different from earlier. I think the last time I spoke was when we just arrived at Malakot, I think. So yeah, we've been gone probably about, I think we left at about half 11 and it's now seven minutes past one. So a little while ago, Dan's back out in the field, we've taken the trailer back and we've come home now to get some lunch because we're very hungry um you would have just seen i've got a rosette here and my test sheet now obviously you guys have seen my ridden footage and i am so pleased with how dan went he was like really steady but not too slow where he was behind the leg with me um but it wasn't like too forward he didn't get strong he was really good as i mentioned i wasn't gonna canter in the warm-up which i didn't do um but yeah he went so nicely a little bit on the 20 meter circle i went a little bit big than i should have and there's like a few little things um but i will have gone over all my marks and that um when my video was going but um yeah over the moon with how well dan went and to finish it off guys me and Danny come second, which I literally cannot believe. Like, we have been so unorganised for this competition that I have generally and honestly had no idea kind of what's been happening today. Lorna has just arranged the whole thing with these teams and that. Um, and I've kind of just gone, up, gone with the flow. Um, so, yeah, yesterday was our first time running through the test. Um, the first time I walked around it, the second time I'd done it, and then the third time I'd done it properly how you meant to be. Um, and Lorna was there to basically help me. Um, and, yeah, I wouldn't say I went the best yesterday, me or Danny. Danny was very slow as well. Um, so, yeah, I was not expecting anything today. Like I mentioned, I was not worried if I didn't get placed. I just wanted it to go well without me making any mistakes which is what happened we had no mistakes at all obviously Lorna was the caller but I did not make one mistake which I'm absolutely over the moon about I really like Lorna calling out my test because she does it nice and slow whereas um the person the last time I did the dressage test it was kind of like they would say what I was meant to do but before I went to do that they'd be on about the next thing and then it would like throw me off and I think that's why I made mistakes as well um but with Lorna she goes really slowly and she tells you like just before you're meant to do it so it kind of stays in your head which is how I like it to be so I think that also helped as well Lorna and I'm used to her calling out the test because I always practice with Lorna when I run through them um but yeah I literally expect no rosette at all I just wanted to go there and basically try not to make a mistake which happened and i waited for my test sheet because i wasn't thinking oh, i'll get placed and i thought if i did get placed i'd probably get like fifth or something like that um but i wanted my obviously sheet to see my mark and things um and i waited behind some people where they got their rosettes before me and i went and i looked at the rosette they gave me my sheet and my rosette i was like second how did i get second that's just incredible this is the best i've done at dressage competition i've never done any better than this and my um mark was 62.6 so yeah absolutely over the moon danny was just amazing and my last dressage vlog guys i said i hate dressage just that and the other but i've been and done it today and yeah it was okay so because this is like a winter league, it's on every single month um, at Malakot, so at the same place. Um, hopefully next time I do it, we will do it as a team. But I did find out once we was there that the mark that you get being an individual goes for your team if you're in a team. So me coming second today and the points that I get will go into my our team basically which will help us out i was the only one that actually come today that rode for the team um like as an individual if that makes sense um so yeah i've already put a little bit of points down i'm not sure how many but yeah hopefully it will be all of us or at least three of us for next month when we do it but yeah 
it's good and you don't have to be a team if you guys are local and want to do some dressage over the winter you don't have to be in a team you can go as an individual um or obviously if you can find some people to make a team then you're able to do that as well so yeah very good for the first month very happy with our result and yeah we'll see how we do next time i'm not sure whether i'll be doing intro a next time or if it will be an option between it will either be intro a and intro b will have an option from which i'll do intro a again or it will be intro b and intro c again or it might be the same as today but um if there's another intro a next week not next week next month then i'll probably do the intro a and then it leads us all the way to may which is the championships so we will just see how we get on over the next few months as an individual and as a team but for now guys i hope you guys have enjoyed this week's vlog um yeah comment down below if you're surprised that i'm doing dressage after that oh, that dressage competition and how i was like i don't like it but no i persevered for it guys so yeah stay tuned for some more videos please make sure that you do like and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next time bye